Okay, so this is another topic again, uh, another set of problems again for algebra, and this is algebra part five. So again, this is uh, engineering board exam frequently asked questions. So Para po sa lahat ito na engineering, so pwedeng sa civil, pwedeng sa mechanical, pwedeng sa electrical, electronics, at iba pa. Basta engineering na may board exam. Okay, so uh, algebra part 5, meron naman tayong tatlong uh, example, uh, sample problem. So good day, I'm engineer Melvin John Banzuelo. Problem number one, a man brought a house at the beginning of 1952 for $10,000. If it increased $500 in value each year, how much was it uh, How much was it worth at the end of 1966? Is it letter A, $18,500? Letter B, $17,000? Letter C, $16,000? thousand five hundred dollars letter d seventeen thousand five hundred dollars so again a man brought a house at the beginning of 1952 for ten thousand dollars if it increased five hundred dollars in value each year how much was it worth at the end of 1966 so nag ng five hundred okay nag ng five hundred dollars each year so again this is using our calculator yung calculator na ginagamit ko dito is yung fx570 okay na calculator 570 es so again this is arithmetic progression kasi nag increase siya ng 500 dollars per year so pag arithmetic progression class ang ang ipipindutin natin sa calculator is mode 3 2. So, ibig sabihin ng mode 3, 2, yun po yung A plus BX sa stat mode ng calculator natin. Okay? So, pag mode 3, 2 natin, may lalabas na table. So, may lalabas na table, and then sa table na yun, lalagyan natin ng values. So, sa table natin, na input sa calculator, yung first term natin is 10,000. Because at the start of the year, 1952, ang value ng house is 10,000 dollars. Kaya 10,000 ang andito. So, since nag increase ng $500, sa second year, magiging $10,500. Pwede rin natin lagyan ng ika-third value or third point. We have 3. Kung 3 dito sa X, ang Y natin plus 500, that is $11,000. Pero again, no need na kasi sa line, kailangan lang natin ng 2 points. Okay? So, kailangan lang natin ng 2 points. Kaya, kung ganito yung i-input natin sa calculator, as is na, okay na yon. Okay? Next, ang tanong class is, how much was it worth at the end of 1966? Ilang years from 1952 papuntang 1966? So, mag-start tayo ng count from 19 52. Okay, start ka ng count from 1952, 53, 54, 55, up to 1966. Ilang years yan siya. So, kung isa-subtract natin, 1966 minus 1952, that is 14. Pero sa 14, hindi po kasali si 1952. So, therefore, kailangan isali natin si 1952 because ito yung starting year. So, how much was it worth at the end of 1966? So that is 1966 to 9, uh, 1952 to 1966, 15 years po yan siya. So therefore, 15 years from now, ano yung value ng house? Okay, 15 years from now, ano yung value ng, ng house? So, so actually, that is 14 years from now para maging 1966. So ginawa lang natin 15 kasi sinali ko sa bilang yung 1952 because yung 1952 yung first term natin sa arithmetic progression. So, since ito yung first term ng arithmetic progression, therefore, yung last term na ika arithmetic progression, yung 15th term, that is the year 1966. So, therefore, ang isusolve natin dito, class, hahanapin natin, ano yung y, okay, ano yung y if x is 15? Again, ano yung y if x is 15? So, therefore, 15y hat, okay? 15y hat lang siya class. So, paano natin ma may input sa calculator yung 15y hat? Ayan po, AC, 
press AC, then 1, then press 1, then press 5, then shift, then 1, 5, 5. Okay, again, ulitin ko. From the table, press AC, 1, 5, then shift, 1, 5, 5. Ang lalabas sa calculator dyan, class, is 15y hat. And then, pag nakita na natin yung 15y hat sa calculator, then, yan po yung 15y hat na nakita natin, then press equal. Again, huwag kalimutan mag-press equal. Pag-press natin ang equal, lalabas na sagot na 17,000. Ano ibig sabihin yung class? At the year 1952, ang value ng house is $10,000. At the end of the year 1966, ang value ng house is $17,000 na siya. And sa apat na choices natin, $17,000 that is letter, letter B. So therefore, the correct answer for this problem is letter, letter B. Okay? I hope klaro po yung pagkakadiscuss ko po sa solution. Okay, this is a problem number two. Problem number two na tayo. The product of two consecutive positive, uh, positive integers is 72. Find the integers. So, it's, ang matest lang po natin, ito si letter A at saka si letter B. So, if testing letter A, that is 8 times 9, 8 times 9 equals to 72. If it test na si letter B, negative 8 times negative 9, that is also 72. So, both itong A and B satisfy sa answer na 72. But remember, okay, so remember class, ang tinatanong dito is product of two consecutive positive integers. Take note of the word positive. Okay? Positive integers. So therefore, the correct answer here is letter 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 A. Okay, so I hope klaro po yung pagkakadiscuss. And let's now proceed to problem number number 3. Now, in this problem, this is a work problem. Okay, work problem po ito. So, yung iba, nahihirapan sa topic na ito. So, practice lang po ang kailangan para hindi po tayo mahirapan sa work problem. Ganito lang po, if sa board exam, if identify ninyo na may nahihirapan kayo sa work problem, umulit-ulit lang kayo ng solve ng mga sample problems na related sa work or mga work problem. So, basahin po, po yung problem. Working together, two men can do a job in 20 days. So, usually class, pag working together, yan na po yung 1 over A plus 1 over B equals 1 over 20. Usually, pag working together, yan po yung ina-add natin yung rate ng two worker. Okay? Working together, two men can do a job in 20 days. Working alone, however, it would take one man nine days longer than it would take the other to complete the job. How long would it take each separately? So, eto. Sundan natin class, ha? Sabi sa statement na to, working alone, sabi niya, Working alone, working alone, however, it would take nine days longer than it would take to, than it would take the other to complete the job. Ibig sabihin, class, dapat itong, itong, itong mga values na nasa choices natin, ito yung number of days that maka-work sila separately. So, dapat ang correct answer sa apat na to ay may difference na 9. Okay? Bakit may difference na 9? Kasi sabi sa problem, working alone, however, it would take one man 9 days longer than it would take the other. So, let's try C letter A. C letter A, 45 minus 36, 9. So, therefore, possible answer C letter A. Okay? Next, try naman natin C letter B. 63 minus 45 is hindi po 9. That is 18. So, if that is 18, therefore, hindi na po possible answer C, si letter B. Eliminate na po natin si letter B. Let's try si letter C. Si letter C, 54 minus 36, that is 18. So, therefore, possible answer si 18, hindi. Kasi sabi sa problem, it would take 9 days longer. Kailangan 9 lang yung difference. Therefore, Hindi rin possible answer C, 
letter C. So letter D, tignan natin si letter D class. Si letter D, si letter D what? Si letter D is anong anong, anong difference ni letter D? So kay letter D po is what? 63 minus 54. 63 minus 54 that is 9. So therefore, si letter D possible answer din po siya. Okay? Possible answer lang din po siya. So na-eliminate na natin yung dalawa. Dalawa na lang yung possible answer sa problem na to. Si letter A at si letter D. Eh kung sa actual exam, pag tinatamad kayo, huwag nyo na isolve. Chef, ano na lang? Uhulaan na lang natin between letter A and letter D. Pero again, walang kasiguruhan sa paghula natin na pili natin yung correct answer. So, so isosolve natin yung problem gamit ang choice letter A at choice letter D. So, paano natin isolve? Again, sabi ko kanina class, pag working together, yung rate ng A plus rate ng B equals the total rate na mag-work sila together. Take note that the total rate na mag-work sila together is 1 over 20. Saan galing yung 20? Ayan po, given sa problem. 1 over 20. So, therefore, ang, ang gawin natin para makuha natin if Tama si letter A, ganito po siya class. Input natin sa calculator, okay? Input natin sa calculator 1 over 36 as the rate of one man plus 1 over 45 as the rate of the other man. Then press equal, lalabas, if lalabas na 1 over 20, therefore, correct answer si letter A. Okay, so wag nang pumunta kay letter D. Okay, so the correct answer here sa problem 3 is C. Si letter letter A. Okay? So, letter A yung correct answer. So, sa actual exam, wag mo na isolve si letter D. Proceed ka na to other problem. Okay? Proceed ka na to other problem. Okay? I-try natin counter-check si letter D. Same process sa ginawa natin kay letter A. That is, 1 over 63, the rate of the other worker, plus 1 over 54, press equal, ito yung Lumabas. Hindi naging equal to 1 over 20. Kasi yung hinahanap natin para maging sagot is 1 over 20. Okay? So, eliminate na natin si letter D. Kaya, hindi talaga correct answer si letter D. Ayan, class, napansin natin, again, hindi ako gumamit ng equation. Okay? Hindi ako gumamit ng equation para masolve ko yung problem. Itong tandaan, napakadali ng mathematics basta may... What? Basta may choices. Okay? Basta may choices. Again, class, this is not only applicable to algebra, but also applicable to other math problems. Kaya ito yung sinasabi ko, this is not all na, na calculator techniques, but meron din tayong shortcut techniques. Math shortcut techniques. Hindi po ito calculator. Math shortcut techniques po ito. Kasi nasolve po natin yung question or problem galing sa choices. So again, I hope klaro po yung solution ko. And if may tanong, hanapin niyo po ako sa Facebook, PM lang, and then para makapagbibigay ako ng feedback sa tanong po ninyo. Okay? Para makapagbibigay ako ng feedback sa tanong po ninyo. So ayan, hindi po yan sagot si letter D. So, thank you for watching and please, please, please do not forget to click subscribe. So, pag mag-click po kayo ng subscribe, every time mag a ako ng videos, ma-update po kayo sa new video ko po. Again, algebra pa lang po to. Papunta pa po ako sa differential equation. Lahat po ng mathematics uh, madadaanan ko po, engineering mathematics. Sa so, hopefully po, makatulong po sa inyo sa nalalapit ninyong board exam itong mga lectures na ginagawa ko po dito sa aking YouTube channel. Again, if may mga requested problems kayo na gusto nyong ipasolve, gusto nyong hanapan ng ano yung teknik sa pagsolve, pwede nyo po akong again i-PM sa Facebook or sa Messenger. So, next topic ko po is Algebra Part 6. Okay, Part 6. And by the way, before ako mag-end, yung mga problems sa mga sample ko po, ito po yung mga problems na nasa libro ko po. Okay? So, yung book ko po, 
kasi po sa book ko maraming errors so at least yung mga errors na yun nakokorek ko po through my YouTube channel okay so mas maganda if may copy po kayo ng book ko po okay so again thank you and have a nice day bye